What's up, fight fans? I'm Jay Cotto. Welcome to Jay Cotto's Fight Page. And, uh, well, this is going to be my second review on Star Wars The Last Jedi. And this, it's not even a review. This is going to be what should have, what should have been done with Luke Skywalker. Let, let me just take it there. All right. Now, warning. Spoilers. In three, two, one. Leave the fucking room. Okay. Now, first of all, this thing with, uh, Luke Skywalker being tormented over him, not, you know, uh, just basically being there and the whole Jedi temple broke down and, and the way he was going to, you know, slay Kylo Ren and so on and so forth. Let's take this piece by piece. Now, Luke Skywalker would never, and I repeat, would never have tried to strike down his nephew because he saw bad in him. That's a total contradiction to Luke Skywalker's character because if you take a look at what he's done, and I'm not sure if you guys read the uh, the stories of Luke Skywalker, but what he's done with his father, Darth Vader, the ultimate evil throughout the galaxy and brought this man back to the light side, how is it that he's going to kill his fucking nephew, which happens to be his best friend, Han Solo, and his sister, Princess Leia's son, uh, son. Like, how is this? How, how 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 did that work out? What should have happened was he should have tried to guide him as Kylo Ren just couldn't resist Palpatine calling to him. Or should I say Snoke? Excuse me. That's how it should have gone. Not make Luke look like a coward. Standing with the lightsaber ready to strike his nephew down because he sensed evil. In that case, then he should have killed Darth Vader when he was on the ramp. Right? Okay, let's move on. They gave him this 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 thing where he was traumatized. He turned into a hermit and he moved away. Now, exactly what Mark Hamill had said in an interview when he read this, you know, and he said, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not Luke. This is not my Luke, right? Luke was valiant. Luke was very fair. What they should have done here was make... Okay, fine. The Jedi Temple he built... It's all messed up. Things happened. Fine. Okay. No problem. What they should have done here was... He went away to Octu to channel more of his Force powers. To perfect them. He had... He went around, of course. There are side storylines. He went around collecting all Jedi artifacts. Okay, fine. You collected the damn Jedi artifacts. Now he's supposed to go into training to become a master, master Jedi. Like, you know, not, not make him put himself away and hide all the Jedi relics and artifacts and, and, and be stuck on a, on an island with, with half fucking penguin pigeon hamster looking things, you know, porgs, right? Right? As soon as Ray came to, I mean, the whole, they left the map to find Luke Skywalker in episode seven. What was, what was the purpose of that? You find Luke Skywalker to just find him as a torn, broken fucking man who couldn't hold his own? But yet, this is a master Jedi. Luke Skywalker who saved the galaxy. Right? So, now they give him this thing where he's a hermit and, and then Ray gives him the lightsaber. He throws it over. What he should have told him was, I know who you are and the time is not now. And I know you've come for some Jedi training. We have a lot of work to do. Come, young Jedi. Let's complete your training. Not make her... Like, everybody's going around with the damn name. Mary, a Mary Sue who just... No, to be better than Luke Skywalker? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, you know... Really, you know... Ryan Johnson's going around saying that it, all the backlash is not bothering him. It should bother you. I don't even think you were a Star Wars fan to begin with. How do you... How do you... Then, let's just keep moving on, right? So, that's what should have happened. Then, what him and Ray should have made this plan where you go off first, and, I, and, and, and I'll meet you there, right? That's what should have happened. So, let's just say Ray goes off, and that part where, you know, they can leave in the, the you know, the part where, where her and, and, and fucking Kylo Ren, you know, and, and probably... It, it, 
leave that shit there. Just leave it all there. But but instead of having him on some hologram shit showing up for force projecting himself, what should have happened should have been badass. Like this. She goes off, she gets captured. The rebels are in trouble. Luke Skywalker comes in. With the X-Wing fighter that was under the damn water. How awesome would have that been? Then, he lands. And he goes up against Kylo. But while he's going up against Kylo, Rey gets kidnapped. Kylo escapes. They have Rey. So now Luke, Leia, and everyone else in episode 9 have to go and save Rey. And the final fucking scene should be, should have been for episode 9 leading up to it to have us all fucking knee tapping and biting nails and waiting in anticipation for the next damn two years should have been. You know what? Ray versus Snoke. Luke, I mean, I'm sorry. Ray versus Kylo. Luke versus Snoke. A little switch off between the duels. Snoke gets killed. Kylo wounds Skywalker. Not mortally, but just wounds Skywalker. F- having him step aside and letting Rey tap into her force abilities. She defeats Kylo. And finally, finally, Luke Skywalker is one with the force. And tells Ray the truth. Which could have been a nice little twist in the plot. Before he goes back into... <laughs> back into her, the hermit life. He should have told her. I am your father. Not some... Dr- you have us waiting two years for... I am your father, Ray. And I put you, I, I, I put you on, that, on that planet simply because I needed to keep you hidden. You have the force because of me. That would have explained Ray's m- power. That would have explained it. Then the Skywalker lineage would have went on. But the agenda of feminism, let's talk about that. Because that's the main thing here with Kathleen Kennedy betraying George Lucas doing this. To make all the women look f- like... They were all fucking generals and the men are just fucking lap dogs and shit. This was ridiculous. This was totally ridiculous. The way I said it should have gone. That's what I was expecting. Luke using his force powers. It's it was said in in, in the in the in the Luke Skywalker mythos. There's a new book going out. It's it's even an audio book. He took down a he took down a galactic starship, a destroyer with the force. Why couldn't that that part instead of him getting all shot up in a hologram, he couldn't take down those 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 eight those, those, those ATTs with his own force powers and crush them together on some Doctor Manhattan versus the tank shit? You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? So many abilities that they did not show us. So I guess we're gonna have to stick to the sidelines, stick to the little little you know side stories of Skywalker, the legends of Skywalker, right? We're just gonna have to use our imagination. This is what Mark Hamill's upset about. They should have extended, they should have showed us Luke Skywalker's force abilities, man. They should have showed us, this is what Luke Skywalker can do. And then maybe in episode 9, you know, when, 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 you know, he, he extends himself so much in the final battle after he's wounded, then he becomes one with the force. You had to let him go out on his fucking shield. Not have him hiding like a coward and make every woman in the damn movie look like she was all fucking... You know, then at the same time, if they was going to have Princess Leia use any type of force powers, it should have been during... It should be... It should have been during this one. Not not that Mary Poppins Disney pixie does shit. Not that. Not that. 
it should have been to a point where if she could float through space like that, then she had the ability to bring down or, or, or try to use some force disturbance on, on, on the pilots of the other Star Destroyers. Right? Right? It, right? You know? Something. But no. But no. They went and they and they killed Luke Skywalker and made him look like like he just picked up the lightsaber and just and then for him to detach himself from the force, man. Like it made no sense. And even if he did detach himself from the force, he should have been able to tap back into it and find it and not even fucking exert so much energy to the point that he becomes one with the fucking force. Are you stupid? Ryan Johnson, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like this it's it's an uproar. Now a lot of you fucking other people that that oh come on this this story is for kids. You guys don't understand that big long time Star Wars fans since 1977 like myself. You know, after a while when I was able to take myself to the movies, not my pops at the time, you know, you spend energy, time, money, you know, and you buy their merchandise. You remember a great story and then you have this fuckery that doesn't even match up with anything. Anything. Nobody fucking cheered when Leia did that Mary Poppins fucking Disney pixie dust flight through space. Everybody laughed. Everybody sighed. Not in grief, in anger. When you did that to Luke Skywalker. And I understand it's out with the old and with you, but there's a way to do it with class. The whole movie fucked up because they took Skywalker out of it. Out of it. It should have been a lot of segments where Luke Skywalker was showing Rey how to do shit right and how she perfected her shit, and that's that. And they should have made Rey Luke's daughter because that explains exactly why she can tap into the fucking force so quickly as to her grandfather Anakin and Luke Skywalker himself. Now, I may be jumping the gun here because we don't know what they're going to do with the last episode, but I will go as far to say this. Sith Lords cannot take spiritual forms at all. They cannot go into the spiritual realm like the Jedi. So what should happen is if they're going to bring, they should bring Luke Skywalker back. They should explain that whole thing that when he disappeared, he basically just, uh, it's like a battery. Like I said before, it's like Dr. Manhattan. When, 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 he, when, when his atoms were split, he had to take time to bring himself back together. This is what needs to be done with Luke Skywalker for the last one. I hope J.J. Abrams understands the criticism in this and does what he has to do and, and make it a little more sensible where Luke Skywalker didn't die. He knows the difference now between the spiritual plane and, 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 the, and the physical form. How awesome would that be that Luke Skywalker can actually be the master Jedi? That would be awesome. This is the only way that they can redeem themselves and, br and, and bring back the old Star Wars feel to it and all of the old older fans. Because if you lose that fan base, you're only going to have a new generation who are not going to know what they want. George Lucas is not even happy with the with this one here. Of course you're going to get backlash when you do some shit like Princess Leia from little bits and pieces of the Force from, from Empire Strikes Back to Return of the Jedi. Then you got this shit here. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. What was, what was the map to find Luke Skywalker for? Why did he give them a map? Why, why did he give them a map so they can find him? Personally, I think that this movie was made this way to get us upset because I think, and this is, this is just me hoping. This is just me hoping as a, as a Star Wars fan. But I think that they should just... Bring back Luke Skywalker. George Lucas needs to put his hands on this with J.J. Abrams 
Omit Ryan Johnson. Omit Kathleen Kennedy. Because she's all about feminism. She even wore a shirt saying Star Wars feminist. Trust me, man. Trust me. She betrayed George Lucas. George Lucas sold it, but you have rights to creative, right? To the creative talent. What you need to do is tell these guys, listen, we're bringing back Luke Skywalker. You're the master. You're the master, Lucas. So you, you need to just say, bring Luke back. Give him the possibility of him just basically wasting his physical to the point that he went to the spiritual and then have a little, have a little heart to heart. In the next one, have a little heart to heart with, with, with his father, Anakin, who he's never spoken to or met to the point that he's so powerful that he can speak to Quan John Jin as well. He can speak to all of the, all of the spiritual Jedi's now because he is the last Jedi. This is what this fucking movie should have been. He would have been the last Jedi being able to get, con, con, you know, consultation and, and from all the fucking Force Jedi's meeting his father for the first time. Now, I know, that's, I know, I understand that if you don't have a connection with a certain Jedi at the, at the time, that, you know, you, you just ain't gonna have a connection with him. Okay. But he's Luke Skywalker. He's, you know? And I hope that, I hope that's what they've done. I hope this is what they've done. I hope they're keeping this shit on the wraps like this just to give us one hell of a last send off before they start the new shit. I really, really hope that this is what they do. Give Luke Skywalker the ultimate force abilities to the point that he becomes one with the force at the end of nine. See, that makes more sense. Him and Ray battling Kylo and Snoke, right? And then he takes Snoke out, and then he's battling the, 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 the Knights of Ren by himself. You know, of course, too many to handle, what, but he still gets wounded, not mortally, like I said. Then all of a sudden, you know, Ray defeats Kylo, or Kylo runs away if they want to attach Kylo to the to the next fucking Star Wars or whatever. But that's that's the way to do it, to the point that he gives her the nice secret, man. That everybody's been waiting for. Is she a Kenobi? Is she a Skywalker? You know, is she, who the fuck is Ray? Come to find out, her fucking parents are just drunkards, drunkards who just who just who just left her there. No, no, no. It should be that Luke had to go because the Jedi Temple. He didn't want his daughter to be found out. The same way they did with him and Leia. That's what should have been done. To the point that in episode 9, he's able to tell her. Or we find out ourselves, but Ray doesn't. At the It could have been at the end of this movie where him and Leia, you know, let's say Leia passes away if they're not going to use extra footage, you know, because they always say they're not going to do shit, but they usually do it. If they're not going to use footage for now, what should have been done here is he could have told Leia before she died. Leia. Holding her, holding her in his arms as soon as he got there. Right when they kidnapped fucking uh, Ray. You see that? You see how that works out? It should have been on some... Leia. Ray. She's your niece. And she would have been like... She's your daughter? You know what I'm saying? And she would have... And, and she would have smiled and, and it would have been off. And then here comes Luke. Badass Master Jedi Luke Skywalker. Able to manipulate the light and the dark side. The glass gray Jedi. Right? The last of the Jedi's badass. So that way in the ninth one, where's my daughter? You feel what I'm saying? To the point that it's a big surprise that when Ray finds out that that's her father. Yeah, man, there's so many things they could have done with this fucking movie. This is just an idea that I had. They, they needed to make Luke Skywalker the ultimate fucking badass. You want merchandising? You don't do it with pords. You do it with fucking force moving fucking Luke. You know? You do it with fucking... Uh, <laughs> Oh man, listen guys, this has been my second review and I'm just going to call this what should have what should have been, you know? And that's just basically it, man. A, a more powerful plot like that would have been great, man. Leave your comments in the comment section. Love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay vigilant. Peace, guys.